Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker is now just 119 days away from its official release by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that at the end of the day, this film is going to include many different revelations, twists and turns, and surprises that's going to change how we view the past eight Star Wars films that come before this one, and that J.J really is aiming very high and is very ambitious about really marking this film down as the best of the sequel trilogy and if not one of the best films in the Skywalker saga. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been learning a whole lot more about this film and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now specifically what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Rey, Poe, and Finn and Chewbacca on board of the Millennium Falcon where it's described that they are all in the cockpit and are on, on a hyperspace route to the exotic jungle world that is the location of the exotic city and the dark prince it's explained that r2d2 begins to attach to the mainframe of the falcon where r2 goes through a series of audio transmissions where one of which is said to be a log by han solo from some years ago where it said that han reveals that after ben solo's turn to the dark side that han solo actually had a death wish and went on a very risky mission in the Outer Rim, which held many outposts of the First Order, where Han and Chewbacca participated in an intense battle where they both almost died, where it's described that by Han Solo that he lost his way after Ben's death and that he didn't know what he was doing, and that he regrets how he almost got killed along with Chewbacca, and that this is what led to the separation between both Han and Leia, since Leia would always worry about Han and what and how it was interfering with her politics in the New Republic. It's said that Harrison Ford did a recording session at Pinewood to fulfill this brief scene that adds a bit of backstory of Han's life between episodes 6 and 7. So let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, we do know that episode 9 is going to feature a lot of different surprises in this film, as well as a lot of reveals, not just in the movie, but also in the novelization and in the visual dictionary. Now, I don't know about you, but Han Solo, by far one of my favorite characters, not just in Star Wars, but in all of pop culture. You know, I was really sad to see him go and get killed off in The Force Awakens so fast. I think that they should have at least waited until The Last Jedi to kill off Han Solo, but I digress. What's really intriguing about this, though, is that this is exactly how Han Solo reacted to Ben Solo's turn to the dark side and how he lost his way and actually went on a death wish with, of course, both himself and Chewbacca on board of the Falcon to the Outer Rim toward a specific star system that held many different outposts of the First Order and that they were actually almost killed right then and there. Now, this is directly what was responsible for the separation between both Han and Leia. Now, this really does change the game because we do know that J.J. Abrams wants to answer a lot of questions that were not answered in The Force Awakens. By far, one of the big questions of all time is, of course, why did Han and Leia split? They were once married, what happened? Whatever actually happened between the two. We never fully actually learned about all of that, and that's exactly what J.J. is explaining in Episode 9. So this audio transmission is actually said to be discovered by R2-D2 when he actually connects himself to the mainframe of the Falcon. In case you guys did not know, the Falcon will have a slight different design change in this movie as far as the exterior goes, at least. And that's going to be another interesting aspect of Episode 9 as well with the Falcon. So, with that being said, we're still not quite sure exactly which star system Han and Chewie went to in the Outer Rim in order to pretty much, you know, react in such a way to take out many of the outposts of the First Order, where they were almost killed and actually shot down by the First Order. Now, that's a big deal because the fact that this actually had such a major impact on Han's life because it led to the separation between himself and Leia... Hence, pr pretty much it's actually what really caused the separation between the Solo family, and I like that because it does give us more explanation. Do I necessarily agree that that's the main reason as to why they split? Not really. I feel like that there could have been a better option to go through with that. I think that there could have been a better way, but it does make sense because Leia was always worrying about Han. It was interfering with her politics and her mindset and her 
pretty much, you know, her whole entire way of dealing with politics and how that was really interfering with her lifestyle. So you could only imagine what Leia was going through and why she ended up splitting with Han. So with that being said, Chewbacca almost dying along with Han Solo. You know, this is somewhat similar to what almost happened at one point in time in the EU. I believe that there was one of the books out there from the 1990s where Han and Chewbacca also went on a death wish, where you can really see how JJ is digging into Star Wars Legends and is really trying to cherry pick from those elements and inserting it into Episode 9. And that's what I love so much about this film so far. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. And and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.